Okay, folks, uh, I will just continue the storytelling and point out a few of the highlights uh, for for the design and, and, and the functionality of the stadium. And it starts, let's start at the window on the city. The whole purpose there is to bring the city into, into the stadium experience. And I think you'll notice as you wander around the stadium how much natural light comes in. And if you just can remember the George Dolman, and as you walk to the concourses there, it was a very dark environment. So through this, this fabric-like material, it, it, it's not glass, it's lighter than glass and allows the architects to bring in more natural light. You can see the use of that, of that ETFE fabric that it's called brings all that light in. If I go straight up above us, we also have that same kind of fabric ETFE that forms the pillows that constitute the movable roof. And in fact, you could actually see because it does bring some natural light in through the roof. You can see the outlines of the Mercedes-Benz logo there. That's, that's about 315 feet in diameter. Um, you can see that when you fly over on Delta going wherever you're going, but that's one of the largest logos on the planet Earth. We think Mercedes-Benz is pretty pleased with the branding they've gotten out of the stadium. So natural light, um, obviously the roof. What I want to point out is the fact that this stadium is in every sense of the word a transformer. It transforms not just from open to closed like any other stadium, but it transforms from a football stadium to a soccer venue to a concert venue. And that was built in from to the design from the very beginning. So as you can see inside of the building, number one, it's all digital. There is no fixed signage in here. In fact, the only fixed sign you'll see is right behind me over there, the Mercedes-Benz three-pointed star. It is all digital, which essentially allows us to repaint the stadium at the push of a button. A little bit more complicated but, than that, but from our master equipment room, our production designers can bring whatever event to life through all the digital surfaces they've got at their disposal. So from the largest video board, the halo board, to the mega column, to the ribbon boards all around us, to the more than 2,000 IP TVs that are scattered throughout the building, all of that, all of the, that video those assets are controlled from a single place and essentially allows us to transform the stadium. Because what we learned from the very beginning when we decided to co-locate both the Atlanta United and the Falcons inside of one stadium is that our soccer fans, our soccer supporters, don't like to feel like they're guests in someone else's stadium. They want this to be their environment, their venue, and we accomplished that digitally by what I just described, but also physically. So if you see the large ducts that surround the, 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 the bowl, in between that is a curtaining system. I don't know if Darren pointed that out to you, but essentially a curtain will descend, a branded curtain that closes off that upper bowl and downsizes the stadium from roughly 71,000 in Falcon mode to 43, 44 plus thousand uh, for Atlanta United. Uh, our average attendance is higher than that, so we're going to find ways to open up some of those curtains and make sure that we can satisfy the natural soccer demand that we've got inside of that stadium, but or inside of this stadium. So uh, obviously that capability is very unique because if you think about the stadiums that are being built, the soccer stadiums, they are largely 21, 22, maybe 25,000 uh, capacities. We have now a 40. 4,000 capacity, expandable to 71,000 capacity. So if we ever have a high demand game, we can open up those curtains and fill this to the, to the, to the upper seats with soccer supporters. If we have an international friendly uh, or any other big match like that, we don't have to find an alternate venue. We can house it all here. So the ability to repaint the stadium, the, the ability to upsize or downsize, depending on football, soccer, concert or any other event that we've got here makes this a really dynamic, flexible stadium.